morning everybody welcome to mortal gaming this is me again marvin and we're now here for another video for ragnarok origin and this time we're going to be talking about the sage and the professor so first of all a thank you to sir james or kobe for lending me his character let's start with the pros and the cons okay so a lot of you are so excited on the sage but you have to consider the pros and the cons one of the pros very strong single target magic damage burst we don't have that much this spell is very useful in pvp it's a very unique skill that only the professor has and being mobile while casting is a very cool and very good advantage okay so let's talk about the cons high mdef of mobs in both field mvp and dungeons that's a big problem for the Sage in this server since as compared with the KR server, the magic defense and the HP of the mobs are not scaling that much with the server. So it's kind of OP there. But as in contrast with the global server, it's different. We will be having a hard time in grinding, in MVP, in dungeons just because of the high magic defense. And since the Sage and the Professor has a very low ignore MDEF or no ignore MDEF, it only has a reduction on MDEF of the enemy. It's going to be a challenge for us. So you have to have a very high ignore magic defense. Where are you gonna get those high ignore magic defense? The percentage comes from the gacha. Aside from that, feathers, and statues those are the ones that you have to be very much invested if you are going for the sage and the professor and also auto casting or the auto attack build of the sage and the professor is kind of you know not good in global server it's just like the magic crasher of the wizard so it's going to be following the same path it's slightly slightly better than the magic crusher build but altogether it's not very good so it sucks here in global server but uh, we will still be seeing on the next or the future updates or balancing if there will be for the sage and the professor and also if there will be other uh, you know other things to get your ignore magic defense okay so let's start with the stats okay so the stats of course you have to have max int 99 int and in terms of the dexterity depends on the build that you are having if you are a pure aoe or a caster build then the next will be dexterity and after that luck will be advised since luck also increases your magical attack and at the same time we need high crit death okay the next build for this is the autocaster build it's just you know full 99 agility and the rest would be intelligence we don't need crit on the auto attack since it's considered magic damage so it does not crit okay next would be skill builds okay we have three builds here the autocast the pve and the pvp okay so both pve and pvp are both casters but in terms of skill distribution they're very different okay for the mage it's going to be same across all of the builds level 10 on fire bolt level 10 on cold bolt level 10 on lightning bolt and level 10 on increased sp recovery and that's it okay so for the sage if you are going for a caster five on advanced book advanced book increases your attack speed and magical attack and also you would be having an additional magic damage in your auto attacks next would be dragonology increases your int magic defense and damage dragons by 10 percent the double casting the most important skill because this would add additional 50 percent of the original damage of your level 10 bolts so that would be uh, increasing your damage of your bolts to 150 percent and that's a lot so next would be earth spike of course we have already fire water wind and we need earth right so earth spike and in terms of double casting this one also affects the earth spikes okay next after that volcano level three deluge and violent gale all on level three so these are what we call domains this increases the damage 
that your enemies take from your elemental damage. Now, they also have different types of debuffs that they could get when they enter that domain. So, 50% chance to fall into ignition state if they are going inside the volcano domain, slow for the deluge, and blind for the violent gale. After that, we can go level 1 on free cast and then 5 on magic rod or mana shield so this one converts 10 percent of the magic damage that you take reducing your sp instead let's go to the professor for the caster pve on professor you would now need element mastery okay this one increases the damage that you deal when using elemental damage by five percent and it stacks up to four times so that's an increase of 20 percent damage Mindbreaker, a very important level 10 on this one. It permanently increases your magic damage by 10% and it lowers the magic defense of the enemy by 20%. Okay, aside from that, of course, the most popular skill of the sage or professor, the land protector. Okay, level 3 on the land protector and level 10 on the psychic wave because sometimes you need an AOE skill instead of single target skill and Psychic Wave is the only AOE skill of the Professor. So aside from that, let's go back to the Sage 4 on the free cast, okay, so that you can max out free cast and then the rest would be absorb magic so that your SP will be increased and your SP will recover every 5 seconds, 1% of it. Okay, and then the last three uh, job skill points you could put on the create elemental converter because you would most likely need this if you want to create more sources of Eden coins for yourself and also if you want to, to go for the auto cast skill build. Okay, let's go to the PvP. For the PvP, same five on advanced book. 5 on Dragonology, 10 on Double Casting. This time, you would now go for the Spiderweb. Spiderweb is so good. So for 5 seconds, if you don't hit it with a fire damage skill, then you would most likely be immobilizing it for 5 seconds. But if you hit it with a Fire Bolt or a Fire, fire Damage skill, then the damage would be doubled. Okay? So Spiderweb, very important. Next, this time would be Magic Rod and absorb magic and that's it you would only need violent gale depending on your choice or depending on the situation you can put violent gale for high scale pvp so that uh, most of the people that would fall in the domain would be uh you know blinded so that's a very huge advantage on your party but since on high scale pvp most of the area would be indulged in land protectors so it's kind of hard to put or to you know place the violent gale but it's still up to you so you can go for that for the professor it's still the same element mastery level 5 level 10 on mind breaker level 3 on land protector level 3 on spell breaker and then level 5 on this spell and then after that you could go for level uh, 5 soul change and level 9 on soul burn you could actually uh, exchange this for psychic wave if you want or additionally put any of the domain i would be suggesting the violent gale okay so next would be the autocast build for the autocast build it's still the same here advanced books dragonology but you won't be needing double casting this time since you would highly rely on your auto casting uh, buff okay on yourself so you won't need double casting because double casting does not occur on auto cast okay you must cast your bolts yourself okay next would be still spider web five on earth spike five on magic rod or mana shield five on absorb magic and uh, three on all of this and then one on create element converter after that 10 on auto spell because this is the buff that you would need and then after that the auto spell mastery after that you go for uh, of course mind breaker and element mastery because you need those and then three on spell breaker five on this spell and the last two points would be on land protector okay 
and that is for the builds of the sage and the professor let's go to the gears because the gears are one of the most important things okay let's just stick with level 90 since majority are still on this side okay so let's start with the most important magic book which is the source of element magic book so this one is basically the weapon that you would most likely be needing for your bolts. At first, it increases your uh, your bolt damage by 10%. Every refine that you have would be increasing your magical attack by 1%. So if you have plus 15 on your weapon, then that would be automatically plus 15% on your magical attack. On refine plus 6, additional damage on your elemental damage by 10%. On Refine plus 10, um, the cooldown of the bolts and the spikes would be lessened by 0.4 seconds. And on plus 15, additional 20% magic damage. The problem here is that it does not have an ignore magic defense. Okay, next would be the origin of elements. This is for the autocaster. So increases your attack speed plus 8%. And for every refinement, you have a chance to automatically cast an attribute arrow or the bolt in auto spell state plus 1%. So for plus 15 weapon, that is an additional 5% chance to cast a bolt. Refining effect plus 10, elemental damage plus 8%. And plus 15, plus 15 refinement, you would add 200% damage to your bolts that are automatically cast on auto spell state okay but the problem here is it, it it has a cooldown one second cooldown so you could only increase the damage of your bolts by 200 percent once every second okay next would be the wisdom stone the wisdom stone is used by those who are trying to use the psychic wave and the void bolts so this one increases your neutral skill damage by 12 percent increasing also your magical attack by 12 percent also when you have dragonology level 5 and when you refine it to plus 6 the fixed casting time of psychic wave will be lessened by one second and when you refine it to plus 10 psychic wave damage plus 12 percent additional uh, uh bonus for refinement plus 15 psychic wave ignores magic defense of the enemy by 50 percent and lastly, reduction on the cast delay of the Psychic Wave by one second. Next would be the Ancient Magic. This is just gonna be increasing the domains, but I'm not gonna be, you know, suggesting this that much. Magic Strategy is for the Soul Burn, but the Death Note, no one has tested yet the Death Note among my friends in the KR server, but they have received notes from the Koreans that this one does not have a very good effect. But regardless of your PvP damage bonus, you have a 5% chance to auto-kill instantly kill a demi-human. So if it is applicable on PvP, then this is going to be crazy on high scale PvP, such as G Guild versus Guild, right? So it's not applicable to boss or MVP monsters. Um, attack speed plus 7% on refinement effects. So they are suggesting this to, for the autocaster, but uh, this I think this is better on AoE spells, right? So on refinement plus 10. 10% chance to activate the Curse of the Reaper when attacking. So you would lose my 1% of your HP per second, but your damage that you deal is increased by 20% and your attack speed is also increased by 15% for 10 seconds. On Refinement plus 15, you get additional 18% on your magical attack and additionally damage to demi human plus one percent for every refine okay and the prophecy is uh i think this is going to be good versus jupero since you have 30 percent chance to release a shadow damage on the enemy okay the jupero's bosses are holy element so i think this is would work but we still have to try that one okay so let's now go to the uh, cards of course the cards would be the damage modifiers 
same as for every DPS out there, it's going to be the damage modifiers. For the enchants, we would be needing magical attack here. The thing that is kind of tricky here is when you are going to dedicate an, a build for the autocast, you would need attack speed or agility enchants. And that's kind of tricky since for a normal spender or an F2P, you have limited amount of Mora coins to splurge. So for the refinement, of course, you have to make it plus 15 since the value of 20% increased magic damage is a lot on plus 15 on that weapon. Okay, so next would be the armor set. So the armor set is still going to be a sprint set if you have less than plus 15 refine. But if you have a plus 15 or a higher refine, then I would suggest for you to go for Magic Master set. For the cards, for the armor, of course, the same Baby Desert Wolf, Cornutus, and Elemental Modifiers on PvE. Next would be Garment. Of course, Frildora is useful, but Raidric or Elemental Resist cards are better. For the shoes, it's still Verit, or if you want, you could go also for Sohi. For the enchants, on PvE, Sharp Battle on Armor, Shining on Garment and Shoes, and for the substats, you can also go for Luck and Intelligence for the Garment. For PvP, it's still Tranquility and Crit Resist, okay, since we are still on the Crit meta. Next, Shield. For the shield on PvE, I would suggest for you to go for Book of Lies. And for PvP, since you already have a way to withstand magic damage, you go for Cracked Buckler. Okay. For the enchants on uh, this, PvE is going to be Stone Skin with some on Lock. And uh, PvP, still Tranquility and Crit Resist. For the accessories, if your accessories are below plus 15, then Orleans Gloves would be still the best for you. For plus 15 and above, at level 95, you could go for Lament of Fensalir or the King's Pocket Watch together with the Divine Bracelet. Those have to be both two slot to utilize their effect together. For the cards, two Greatest General and two Wraith card. If you are on Autocast, then Wind Ghost card is going to be one of those uh, cards. Then on PvP, you have to have Smokey and Horong card since the Sage and the, the Professor does not have a Sight skill, okay? So you have to have Horong. Next would be Enchants. For the Enchants of Accessories, it will still be Magical Attack. For the Headwear, Backwear, and the Costume, all of those for the cards of the Headwear, Marduk, G-Earth, Cramp, or Karat carat card if you are already on magic master set for the enchant all of this headwear backwear and costume wisdom for pve and beacon for pvp for the face wear and mouth wear their enchants would be pve sharp battle pvp crit resist and luck so for the vero score let's go to the vero scores okay the most important thing here would be the triple cast because a triple cast can go up to additional 60% of the initial damage of your bolt. So that would be a total of 210% damage. That's a lot. Okay, that's a lot. So that is already on, uh, you know, Smeldon cores. But if you're going to ask me if it is available on the lowest level, of course, yes, it is available. As you can see here you can still have level 1 <laughs> triple casting and it increases by 5% for every level, okay? Next would be the Bolt Boost Protocols. So that is also very important and I would be suggesting the Thunder Thunder Bolt uh, Protocol because it has a 50% chance to inflict blind on the enemy and that is really helpful particularly on uh, PvP uh, scenarios and all of those bolts have uh, additional percentage chance to deal uh, additional 600% or lower magic damage, elemental magic damage, same as the bolts that you have, okay? 
And next would be Transcendence. What is the Transcendence? Attack speed plus 12% and Magical Attack plus 12% when using books. So even though you are not using Autocast, the 12% additional Magical Attack is very good. Okay, this is also available on different cogwheels. Then next would be the Disturbing Domain. Inflicts damage equal to 5% of the target's max HP to the target within the area of the domain. Okay, it cannot exceed a specific percentage of the target's magical attack. Okay, so that is for the Disturbing Domain. For the Autocast build, Transcendence is the number one because you have to have attack speed. So that's 12% additional attack speed. Prophetic spell. What is prophetic spell? This one, okay? This is the prophecy spell. Auto spell chance in increases by an additional 1% every second. So it can increase up to 9 seconds. Oh, if you are already on battle for 9 seconds, okay? 9% increase chance. And that is a lot, okay? Element Gloves. The damage of the attribute increases by additional 9%. So this is an increase in your elemental attribute damage. Whenever you use your elemental converter scrolls on your auto attack, then it would be very good. Then last would be the power of the stars or star power. So this one increases your damage by 2.4% for each SP percentage that is higher than 50% of your SP. So if you have a full SP, then this would be increasing your damage by a lot. And considering that you are not going to be using SP that much on auto casting, then this is the best. So let's now go to the feathers. For your feathers, of course, you would now be concentrating on ignore magic defense. That's the reason why I would suggest space, time, day, and sky feathers on your attack Valkyries. Only on attack Valkyries. So where do we put the light and dark uh, feathers if, you, if ever you have one? You will put it on your defense Valkyries so that you could get four feathers here that has an increased ignore magic defense because you're gonna need a lot okay so aside from that of course the faith feather here and then for the defense of course light and dark nature and divine or night and terra feathers and then the next would be grace or truth if you have enough feathers for the truth tears for the job sigils it's not going to be that much impactful for casters because the chaos uh, sigil is going to be solely for the auto caster because this one increases the magical attack when you are on auto cast state okay so aside from that there's no job sigil for the caster hopefully they add an additional job sigil for your pvp or small scale pvp immortal body swift breakout surging protection and deadlock the tanky sigils are the ones that you would most likely be needing for guild versus guild of course the drowning sigil the nightmare sigil the ones that amplifies the magic damage that your enemy takes those are the ones that are needed on large scale pvp or you can still go with the uh, small scale pvp set on the sigils for pve you need Meteor, you need Surging Protection, Chosen One if you have, and Immortal Body or the Silver Soul. Okay? So a few notes on this guide. This would be my main job as of now. So I will be updating this guide from time to time. Some would differ because, you know, Global Server has a different meta. And these are dominant builds, okay? These are dominant builds. More builds will be coming up just in case there will be an you know a new discovery on my part all right so again thank you to kobe or sir james for lending me this character and that's it thank you everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe if you happen to like this video please do leave a like share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time i upload a new video start a new stream or a new content that's it see you again on the next video bye bye Cause now I found you